What is the mechanics of being able to extract the thrombus, the clot uh, that's causing all the trouble? Uh, do you have little hooks on it, grab it? <laughs> is it a suction cup? Or, there, well, what is that? Very you... sim- so, so those, you've basically described two methods that are the, the, the dominant methods to take it out. So uh, one method is, that is, uh, is called uh, using a stent retriever, which is kind of like a hook. It, it's a, a stent is like a, like a tube of wire. Uh, and in this case, and many times place, people get stents placed in their heart or in their legs. In this case, we're using a small stent which is attached to a wire. And we deploy that stent inside where the clot is located. And we leave it there for a, a little bit of time. And then we pull that stent down through the catheter that's in the neck um, while usually sucking aspiration on the catheter in the neck, and that so can, you can pull the clot out. So you can get some suction. You can get some suction that helps pull the Correct. clot out of that. Can you tell when it's coming out? Can you do you get a feel for you, that? Yes. So so it's really interesting. So one of the other ways that that's that's sort of developed over time is is putting a balloon inside the artery in the neck and using that as a way to once you cross the clot that that once you've put a stent inside that clot it can break up and 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 move downstream so if you have an inflated balloon below that it can help prevent that clot from breaking up and moving downstream so we have an inflated balloon we have a stent there and we pull everything down while pulling some suction on the main or the main catheter the main tube and when the clot gets inside that main tube you know you can't you can't pull suction anymore so it's 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 clogged so you pull everything out, and then when you when you clear the catheter, frequently you find a, you know, a clot either in the stent, or, you know, in the aspirate. What does a clot look like? Uh, it depends on it. De- we're learning more about that. Sure. So it depends on the pathology that that caused the stroke. Generally, um, it, by what I mean by that, it frequently depends on how old the clot is. Um, so if a patient, for example, has had a clot in their heart, for, for instance, atrial fibrillation, um, if they've had that in their heart for a long time and then that little piece of clot flies up into the brain, uh, that, little, that clot could be very hard and, and uh, almost kind of like, a, like, like, kind of like scar tissue almost, like very fibrinous. Um, and in clots that are younger, less mature, less organized, they tend to be sort of a you know, a gelatinous type of what you typically think of a blood clot would look like. Which is the easy, easiest to pull out? It generally, the, 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 the younger clots generally tend to come out more Easy. easily than the, than the older clots.